I'm a professional. Oh my god, look at his eyeball. <laughs> it just fell. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna squish the head a little, <laughs> little bit. Oh, and then oh damn it, we didn't have the grip that I thought we had. Okay, his head is very mushy, as you can see. <laughs> hey bud, what you doing in there? <laughs> What's going on guys? Dre here, and today I'm gonna be an ace pilot, at least hopefully, because, well, if we don't, we're going to freaking die. Yes, we're back with some more El Cadu, and we're gonna be checking out some more player-made levels today. This one is a dogfighting level, where there's an obstacle course as well. I didn't actually know there was an obstacle course, but, I mean, I guess we do have to prove that we're a real ace. Now, we gotta damage enemy planes, or better destroy them, and then land at the friendly airfield on the other side of the mountain. So, let's just actually check. Oh, God, here we go again. I'm, I'm, I'm getting flashbacks. I'm not very good with planes in this game, but seriously, why do I have to fly through a mountain? We have a plane. We can go over it. I don't get it. And now we got, of course, the enemies doing loops like idiots over here. Okay, so at least I know. Another mountain? Are you serious? All right, so we got dogfighting going on over here, and then for some reason, I just like flying through mountains because I'm a crazed maniac. Like, seriously, what the? the there's a, there's, <laughs> There's cave planes. Okay, this I I thought I might be able to do this, but I honestly don't know anymore now that I see the course. Oh god, this is gonna be fun. Okay, well, let's try and fly this thing, shall we? This should be real fun. Now I'm gonna zoom out a little bit because I feel like I need all the time I can get to correct myself. Ah, uh, but yeah, we can start the engine by hitting left, up, down. Okay, it looks like at least the controls are pretty easy. Enter the fire of the gun and then parachute activation. All right, here we go. Look at my little, oh my god, look at my, my little scarf in the wind. It's great. Okay. Um, oh, oh, okay. In inverted controls, I like that. It is a plane after all, and I've totally missed everything. Um, wow, this is really front heavy. This is gonna be fun. Okay, we're gonna, that was just a little tester. Let's try that again. Okay, trying again. Uh, uh, okay, okay. You know what? I'll, I'll take that. The fact that there's no crash damage, that is great. That is what I need right now. This is, uh, this is exactly how you're supposed to fly a plane, by the way. Like, seriously going through a freaking mountain? Okay, I'm gonna have to test my shooters here. My, my shooty shoots. Warning enemy territory. You don't say. Okay, oh, oh, okay. That one I can hit. The other ones I've been fine! That one I can hit for some reason. Great. Okay, we're just doing a loop here. Don't, don't, don't mind me. I, I'm just going back into my cave. I'll see you later. Okay, the, this one, I thought it was faster than this one, but it looks like because I'm on a smaller rotation... It's actually keeping up with me. Okay, how the hell? You know what? I'm gonna have to pull this thing off. Come on. Come on. Get off there. Get off there. There we go. There we go. Oh, damn it. Now I'm stuck again. Okay, and we're coming down. Let's crash into the other one. Okay, I have broken my plane. Plane is not working. Going in for a crash landing, and it's not really a crash at all because, again, there's no destruction in this level. But yeah, my whole back thing. Oh, wait. Did I fix it? Nope. It is, it is totally broken. All right, well, surprise, another plane level I suck at. Let's just try the parachute just for fun. And uh, I would have crashed that anyways. I love the parachute. I gotta say, I, I wish we could use this more because I'm actually good with this. I mean, one day I might actually be able to do a plane level in this game. I'm not very good at them, but seriously, what's up with the mountains? And that plane, I swear it has a mind of its own. Sometimes it wants to go fast, other times it doesn't. And, uh, admittedly, I'm just a crappy pilot as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick to the ground. Screw planes! All right, I always like it when we're at a crash testing facility, and this time, it's it's kind of 3D. It's, it's, it's like a early 90s or mid 90s 3D. We have a Red Bull Le Mans car that we can, uh, go to the frontal or rear crash block. So let's let's start with the rear one. Now, I think I can actually engage this. So let me, oh, oh no, it's actually a wall there. Okay, I, th I thought it was invisible. Let me just press one to see if that one does it too. No. Okay, so that's the other wall. But what we're gonna do with that wall, just to try a reverse crash here, why not? Get up some decent speed and, hey, I gotta say, that's actually a pretty destructive car, so this is exciting. Okay, so continue ahead for the bridge and crash ramp. There's also this crash wall, which is what I was talking about. We can actually drop this, so let's uh, do an episode of the hydraulic press right now, and we're gonna hydraulic press a car. There we go. Yep, that's what I expected would happen. Uh, so yeah, looks like 
Immediately going to the ramp. No delay at all. And what the hell? Oh, this is like a bridge. Okay, it is a ramp. Never mind. And we didn't even get close to making it 150. But I guess my carcass did, so we got that going for it. Okay, Red Bull. Uh, I don't think you're gonna last much longer. I like that there's actually like a roll cage in there. There's like actually detail on this thing, which is pretty damn cool. And... <laughs> Oh god, that was weird. Part of it went straight through the wall, and then some of it actually got destroyed by it. I didn't expect that. All right, and uh, we're doing some more surgery today, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is made by the same creator as the cow surgery, because it's got the exact same tool here. Now, it's actually made for eye surgery, and, uh, well, there's a lot more options than just eye surgery, of course. We could do brain surgery. We have a brain holder here. That sounds exciting. You know what? Let's try and pop off his skull right away. All right, so we're going to have to move up your chair there, buddy. This is, uh, by the way, going to probably be very wrong, so uh, I'm sorry. But uh, you know what? Some people just got to be doctors, and this is my dream, you know? Okay, S for down. Sweet. Oh, it's a little wobbly. You know what? It's just, it's just made to pull off brains anyways. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. This <laughs> This is like the sickest claw machine I've ever seen. Okay, uh, P for clothes. All right, oh, we're a little bit low, buddy. You know what, I don't wanna pull off your eyeball, so we're gonna open that up. And what was it, P? Yeah, you know what, I'm a professional. Oh my God, look at his eyeball. <laughs> it just fell. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so we're gonna squish the head a little. <laughs> A bit. Oh, and then, oh, damn it. We didn't have the grip that I thought we had. Okay, his head is very mushy, as you can see. <laughs> hey, bud. What you doing in there? <laughs> oh, God, I broke it. Oh, my God. I, <laughs> I didn't mean to go that hard. Okay. And there's brain surgery in a nutshell. There, just, just, just ignore those. Those those ones don't matter. Those are all your depression and everything. Everything. So get those out of there. Oh my god, they came back. All right, so now that we saw that I was a perfect brain surgeon, let's move on to the next thing. I'm thinking the guillotine should be fun. You know, I don't... I mean, I guess it's a guillotine. I'm so used to, like, the wooden structure, though. It's still probably gonna work in the same way. Mind you, this guy's, like, four foot tall, it looks like. So is he even gonna make it? Well, you're getting guillotined today at the doctor's office. It's a total normal procedure. Uh, all right, control. Drop her down. And last time you lost all your head. This, or sorry, half your head. This time you lost all your head. I love that the eyeball just bounces around. Also, I don't know why, but I feel less worse than last time. We were, we were basically doing this to a cow last time. For some reason, I'm totally fine doing it with a human. I feel like he's deserved it or something. All right, let's try uh, this thing. The sickle shredder starts from alt. Oh my God, dude, slow down. Okay, are, are you prepared for this? Cause I'm not prepared for this. Okay, we're gonna keep this thing going. There we go, full speed ahead. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Why am I laughing? <laughs> <laughs> this is so gross. Okay, so we've done all the fun stuff. We got all the tools as per usual. We could use those things. Um, we also got a toolbox, so we got some knives and whatnot. I think that's the majority of it, though. Now we have the eye machine. We actually got it. I don't know what we're supposed to do, by the way. I mean, it's not like there's a spare eye somewhere. This isn't Surgeon Simulator where I got to put a new one in. So we're just going to try and pull out your eye. I'm assuming it's a bad eye. Let's see if we can do it. So, uh... Logically, the best thing would be to just lift it up and then move it over, but there, that, that's not going to be easy. So what I'm going to actually do is we're going to bring this guy a little bit closer as we also... Uh, I'm going to bring this back a little bit. Let's actually hide these things for the time being. Oh, crap. That's right. They don't come back. Oh, dude. Oh. Well, I guess that was kind of eye surgery, but we have to get it better, man. Let's just get it nice and... Oh, my God. This... I, I have a phobia of, like, things going into my eyes. <laughs> this this image alone is, like, it's just my nightmare. Okay, so we're just going to get nice and close. Don't blink, buddy, because <laughs> I just pushed it. I wanted to poke it and hold on to it, but I just pushed it into his brain. Get out of his brain. That's not where an eye is supposed to be. Come back. Come back. I'll, I'll get you out of there, little guy. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so Okay, there we go. I had it for a second. You just got to stop moving. It's all your fault. Don't sue me. Okay, this guy probably needs some pain med medication right now. So what was that? Painkiller. These will facilitate patient's pain during the surgery. Works from one, two, three, and four. Throw them all out. He needs it all. <laughs> and of course, we have the red one that explodes. So that's always exciting. Let's just do that. 
Okay, a little bit of a delayed explosion. There goes all your guts, too. So I'm just cleaning you out right now. We'll just get those out of there. You don't need those things. They're not important at all. There we go. Now, now you're just bones and muscle. Aren't you glad you came to Dr. Dre's, buddy? Aren't you glad? Okay, we have a few more things. I mean, we got freaking ninja stars, so of course we gotta try that. There's nothing I can even throw it at anymore. Okay, he, he took a ninja star to the knee. Okay, that one went up there. Let's just keep going. Okay, you know what? Let's just get rid of those. Cause now we're just, we're just, oh, that poor fella. That poor fella. Oh, also, I forgot we have a giant like rocket launcher over here. So of course we have to try that. Annihilator, this big cannon removes one body part completely but it has only one shot, so don't miss your chance to blow, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, for the grand finale, let's shoot this thing. I'm hoping it, should it hit his head? I'm thinking it will hit his head. So we're gonna get rid of all that, and it shoots on five. Oh, get the frig out of the way, are you serious? Okay, can we not like move these things? I'm gonna have to move those arms so we can actually shoot this guy. You're lucky this time, but it's coming for you. You just don't want me to use this thing, do you? You just really don't want me to see, to see this guy get destroyed. Okay, well, I gotta say, the Annihilator, I mean, it did it did its job, clearly, but it needs a little work, it's a little buggy. <laughs> so yeah, that was another day at Dr. Dre's office, another happy patient here, as you can clearly see. He's going home absolutely fantastic. I mean, just ignore the fact that he's totally cut in half. All right, now we got a little bit of evolution, and I love things like this, so this will basically evolve a car to try and get to the finish line. And how it does it is with generations. Basically, it has subspecies, and then each species makes generations, and hopefully over time, we should see a car become better and better through generations of basically evolution. Looking like we're pretty lucky with this first car. I wouldn't really call it a car. It's a triangle with a circle on it, but uh, there, it's gonna get stuck, so it acknowledges that it got stuck, and now we have a new generation. Oh, sorry, this is still considered generation one, so there's so there's a bunch of subspecies in every generation, and I guess now we're moving on to generation two. All right, so as you can see, very similar to the first car, it has slowly improved itself, or at least changed itself to see what the best way is to get to the end line. Now, obviously, the longer we wait, the better these cars will get. So we're gonna do exactly that. Oh, this one's got two wheels now. This is so cool. So I'm not doing anything, by the way. I'm just watching evolution happen in front in front of us. And this time, it's all about vehicles. So can we get one to get to the actual end? I don't know. We're gonna have to find out. But so far, our best was subspecies one, generation one. So we're back at subspecies one, generation two. Let's see if it can beat its father and uh, actually get a little bit further. It's looking good so far. You guys need to work on that ground clearance, though. Looks like subspecies one was still the best, so it's going to change itself again for generation three, and uh, it might actually beat out generation one. Let's give it some time. All right, so I've uh, been watching for a few generations now. Most of them are at kind of generation 10, and as you can probably tell, they're going a lot faster through the course now. So yeah, this is basically the very easy way of how evolution works, if you were curious. Let's actually speed this up, because I know a few have been getting a little bit further. Where's the speed thing on this? Oh, it's actually on the pause, that's right. So we can actually speed it up to 10. Uh, some, very few, actually get past, there we go, you can see it gets to the next zone. Still haven't gotten any to the total end yet, but they're getting close. The problem is, all these designs that I started with, they kind of got like low profile wheels, and it's totally random by the way. Sometimes you get ones that are, you know, got bi got bigger wheels, and uh, I've noticed that those ones get a lot further. So I think with enough generations, it might be smart enough to make some bigger wheels. I'm hoping that's the case, because I do want to see one reach the end. We got that giant mountain that it's got to beat though, and then it's actually got to do a ramp as well. So I, I got to give these guys some chances. We're going to go, so far the best was generation 12 subspecies 3. It's been going back and forth between 1, 2, and 3 though, so all of them are at least somewhat decent. Uh, okay, so it looks like... Is this showing the evolution? Oh, that's actually really cool. Okay, so I didn't even know it did this, but it looks like after a certain amount of generations, it just shows you the best. Uh, looks like our record was 57 meters, which I think is all the way. <laughs> I actually stopped watching for a while because I thought we would still be able to see them, but that's the one that did it. 
Uh, generation 7, so in early generations, actually, of subspecies 2. I just really like that it actually shows how it slowly evolved. So it figured out that, uh, this kind of design wasn't too good. It went to kind of like a square design. And then at the end, it had like a kite diamond design with some actual bigger wheels. Uh, so yeah, I, I love things like this, just like generation games. Evolution games, if you will. And I've never seen one with vehicles, so I thought that was really cool, actually. All right, we got the old Volkswagen out. Another, uh, destructible vehicle, and, uh, this one, well, we're going up a staircase? What the hell? I like that every map, by the way, I think most of these are made by one creator, but every map that he does for every vehicle is slightly different. Oh my god! What the frig? I didn't expect that. Like I said, every map is slightly different, so you don't really know what's gonna happen. This time, we ran over a freaking man! Jesus, seriously, like, you, you, you gotta warn me before I, I, I kill someone. But yes, as always, uh, the, the destruction is very, very good. This guy, oh, it looks like we can, oh, oh, sorry about that. I wanted to open your hood, but, uh, looks like it's, like, maybe latched down. There you go. Now, now you truly can't see, because you just killed a man. So I, I, I just, I just hid that from you. Uh, but yeah, totally destructible, and it looks like that's as far as we can go anyways. So, uh... I gotta say, I don't think there are any survivors in this one, because there's, like, heads everywhere. Yeah, the guy's not doing too good. What is that? Is that, is, is that a piece of your body? <laughs> Alright, so same creator. It might be the same level? I mean, it's got the same starting, obviously. Same guy in the, in the thing. Are we gonna run over a man this time? It's, I think it's already slightly different. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm talking about. They're all... Like, look at that! Wouldn't expect that at all, but, uh, yeah, just an another simple level, something a little bit different. Press enter? Okay. Rate, please. Uh, I don't know how to rate, or I would. All right, and if eye surgery wasn't enough human destruction for yourself, we have, uh... What the hell's going on with this plane, by the way? What is that, like a... a plane tumor? <laughs> I understand it's supposed to be a wing, but it's, got it's going a little too far back. Uh, but yes, we have a plane with passengers. They're eggs, by the way, if you were curious. Or or are they space astronauts wearing yellow helmets? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, basically, it, it's a plane crash. So let's just see what happens here. Oh my god. Okay, we're already... <laughs> wow. Okay, the physics, though. Man, these tape people are taking a mud bath if they're not totally dead. That was actually... Okay, I, I need to watch that again. That, that went too quick, man. I thought we'd, uh, you know, be in the air for a little while, but clearly not. All right, so we're going to slow it down. That mud physics was actually really cool. Talk about Lucky, by the way. Finding the giant mud pit in the middle of all this dirt. Uh, yeah, same as before. I mean, they're just having a giant mud bath. It's all good. All right, and on that, guys, we're gonna wrap up this episode of Al Gadoo here. I thought we'd end off with something just simply mechanical. We have a mechanical watch with a tourbillon on it, uh, which is actually really, really cool. It's supposed to keep pretty accurate time, too, so the fact that Somebody actually took the time to actually design a mechanical watch in this game is actually impressive. Because uh, I don't know if you know anything about mechanical watches, but a lot of parts go into them, as you can probably see. Now, if we speed this up, do we actually see... You might have to really look close, but that is indeed moving, and that is a real working mechanical watch. With a pretty impressive cl complication on it inside Al Gadoo, and that kind of blows me away. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for another episode of Al Gadoo, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, checking out some more wacky creations in this game. And yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, let me know by hitting that like button. Put some comments down below, and if you have any suggestions on what you want to see in Al Gadoo, put them down below as well. I'm always reading those comments, and thank you guys so much for your support. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.